telescope. Put it back. All right, there we go. Hey, Periscope. Hey, Fee. Hey, Faithful Fee. All right, y'all know the deal on Periscope. Go ahead and this little guy. See, I don't ever know, like, when you look at it, it's right here. But I don't know whether it's there or what. But anyways, y'all know the deal. Go ahead and invite more people to join. But girl, get your mind right Monday. And I'm going to turn this on on Facebook Live as well. All right. Hey, everybody. It is a girl. Get your mind right Monday. I'm excited because I have not been on Periscope or Facebook Live in a while. So I'm excited today because I have some good content for y'all and I'm just excited to share it. So for those of you who don't know on Periscope Facebook, y'all know me. Hey. But for those of you who don't know, hey, mom. For those of you who don't know on Periscope, my name is Kedra, and I am the heart behind I Will Be Beautiful. I Will Be Beautiful is a self-improvement boutique for women. So I accomplish that through coaching, and I have coaching classes, uh, self-paced coaching classes. I have individual coaching classes. Um, but primarily, I work on building up your affirmations for yourself to change your mindset so that any aspect of your life you can change as well, simply by changing the mind. That's where it starts. So, um, I uh, have a book. I am the author of... Uh, I am the author of um, I Will Be Beautiful Mentally. And thank you. I am the author of uh, I Will Be Beautiful Mentally. Um, and it is changing the mindset of how you see yourself and also single is the new sexy and also changing your mindset for your single status and making your single status your best asset. Hey, Facebook. I'm just talking to Periscope over here. You can visit my website at www.iwillbebeautiful.com and you can find everything there from the coaching classes to the books. I even have, um, I love these, I should have brought some down with me, but I love these beauty boxes that I have and they're just 30 days of affirmations and let me tell you, they do like wonders. I pick an affirmation every day and I keep it on my mind and so go check it out at the website, all right? Tonight for Girl, Get Your Mind Right, we are going to be talking about uh, getting your mind right. Now, I don't know if for some of y'all that follow me on IG, for some of y'all that follow me on IG, I am Reverend Kedra. This morning I posted a video. I was out at the track running. And I've actually started running, well, I've actually been going back out there for about two weeks now. And I'm really proud of myself because y'all have absolutely no idea how hard it was to get back into um, getting healthy and getting back in shape. Um, and it's not so much to lose weight. It's not so much to be the five, the size four, or the five, size six. It's just to be healthy. You know, I, I want to have energy and I want to have children and I want to be around for my children and my grandchildren. So I want to um, have, live a healthy lifestyle. But y'all have no idea how hard it was for me to get started. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? It was so hard for me to get started. But once... I started applying some of my own um, tips and tricks and affirmations and the things that I coach and the things that I teach. Once I started applying those to my own self, then um, it started becoming a little bit easier. And now it's just that wake up time trying to get up. But it started becoming a little bit easier. And now I am staying regular with getting out there and achieving set what I, yes, they do, but we also want to be healthy too, healthy and curvy. <laughs> yes, uh, but I'm, I'm on track to achieving my goals. So that's what I want to talk about tonight is just getting your mind right for achieving the goals that you want to achieve, okay? Um, like I said, I had to apply my own stuff. I had to apply my own tips. So the first thing is getting started begins in the mind, all right? There are so many things that your mind will tell you. They will tell you that you can't do it. It will tell you that you don't want to do it. It will tell you, um, maybe tomorrow we'll get to it. It will tell you, I don't have the money. I don't have the resources to do it. Your mind will tell you so many reasons as to why... <laughs> 
Um, your mom will tell you so many reasons as to why you cannot do it, all right? So first you have to work on getting your mind right. Um, but you have to tell yourself that you can. So for me, I use affirmations. I started out with using affirmations. And I first started telling myself, I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy. And I just started saying that to myself every day. I want to be healthy. I want to be healthy. Then I reached in my little beauty box. And I have um, Be Beautiful Physically um, affirmations in there. And I started using some of those beauty box affirmations just to deal with, like, my health, okay? And I started reciting facts to myself about being healthy. So that was the first thing that I did. You have to pump your mind up. Um, you have to... Um, so, like I said, I was saying things like, I want to take care of my health. I care about what I put in my body. I care about how many... Uh, how my body will feel um, tomorrow, 10 years from now, 20, 30, even 50 years from now. And these are the things that I had to tell myself to start getting, to start um, readjusting my mind to wanting to go out and um, get done what I wanted to get done. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I'm sorry. I got Periscope over here and they leave my comments for me. So, um but so I had to I had to first trick my mind or get my mind in the mindset that I needed to be in in order to get done what I needed to get done. And that was to begin getting healthier, get myself out the bed or up or just not sitting, sitting down working all day, but getting up and being active. So I had to start telling myself that. The second thing is you have to see the end, okay? So if you've read any of my books, if you've taken any of my coaching classes, then you know that um, one of the things that we do is, um, that's right, the mind is a battlefield. But one of the things that we do is, um, that I have my clients do, is I have them, I don't, we don't do um, goal boards or anything like that, um, vision boards. I do like affirmation walls, okay? And I'm going to explain, I do affirmation walls or motivation walls, all right? It's kind of the same concept, but except I need my stuff on the wall. I need to wake up to it. I need to go to bed to it. I need it to be, I need that energy just all around me. So not only do I have stuff all on just like, I have a main wall that sits next to my bed. But not only do I have stuff um, posted on one wall, but I have stuff posted all around my apartment. And just telling me, you know what I'm saying, reminding me every day um, the mindset that I need to be in to achieve what it is I'm trying to achieve. And in this case, um, you know, I'm trying to achieve a healthy lifestyle. This has also worked for me with, you know, getting back in school. Um, this has worked for me with so many different things in my life that I've accomplished and that I've done. So many goals that I've set for myself. Um, you know, these, these, these. Uh, steps and that I've taken they've actually really really helped so that's why I, I had to apply them this time to trying to um, get a help you know be more healthy in my lifestyle um, and, and create a, a lifestyle change um, but you have to be able to see the end because sometimes your mind will tell you your mind will like overwhelm itself and you know what I'm saying you'll you'll start to be you'll start to think like oh my god this is like too much I can't do this Oh my God, um, you know, I don't see, I'm not seeing results fast enough. So you have to already be able to see the end. And when you put these things all around you, you know, I put them in my car. If I had an office, then, um, you know, I would have this up in my office, but I have it all around my apartment, in the bathroom, on the mirror, on the walls, everywhere. I have all of this stuff just to remind me, um, the mind frame that I want to be. You can ask anybody that comes over, you know, um, they see when you first walk in it says positive energy only and that's to remind myself to bring positive energy into this space and anybody else that comes in here has to come in here with positive energy so you have to be able to see the end in this case um in this case that i'm talking about for myself today i've posted like um i've posted healthy dishes or healthy meals all on my walls um, I've even posted like, you know, pictures of women exercising. So to motivate me to get out there and exercise and be healthy. Um, but you have to be able to see the end and it, it's more than just seeing it in your head. You have to like visually see it on in front of you. And that really does help. So the third thing is, um, 
identify what has hindered you in the past now this is very very important because um you know you have to it's it's some of most the changes that you make in your life should not just be a change of habit they should actually be lifestyle changes things that are going to make you better make you more efficient make you smarter make you happier just make you overall better period so um you have to if you for me i have attempted before um trying to get my health in order and one of the things that hindered me before was my schedule because i was so busy and um hey sam i love you sam but um one of the things that have hindered me so bad um in the past was my schedule and because i was so busy and i always found myself so tired so i had to come up with a plan that was going to kind of trick myself you know against that hindrance okay so and when i'm hungry instead of eating you know salty foods or sugary foods that's going to you're right it is like a lifestyle fast but um but instead of eating salty foods or sugary foods that were not going to give me energy during the day, I had to, you know, do some research and I found that kale is a superfood. And kale, you can eat kale just by itself for the rest of your life and have the energy that you need and the nutrients that you need because kale has all the needs. So I started making kale smoothies. Um, and it gives me, it gave me the energy that I needed. So, and then, so that no longer became an excuse that, oh, well, I'm too tired and I'm dragging and I can't get up and do something. So you have to identify some of the things that hinder you or that have hindered you in the past when you have tried to, um, attempt the goals that you, um, have set before you. All right. Um, another thing that is very, very common. Hey, Dasha. Hey, girl. Um, another thing, hey Sterling, hey Candace. another thing that is very, very common, now let me tell you, this is like the most common, and I come across this in every single client that takes goal coaching from me, every single client is a lack of discipline, and if you do not have discipline, then, you know, that is, you won't get anything accomplished. So that has been a hindrance for me as well. A lack of discipline. I think I have more discipline in some areas and, um, you know, less discipline in other areas. And so I had to recognize that so that I can begin to work on that. Um, identifying your hindrances, that requires you to be honest with yourself. And that's a lot of, that's some things that a lot of us don't like to do is to be honest with ourselves um and i mean i get it who wants to think negatively about themselves you know but the only way that you can um the only way that you can you know rectify those things is to um is to just be honest with yourself so that you know the steps that you need to take to get it done and to you know correct it and work it out um, but yeah, a lack of discipline, and I'm even guilty of it, but I found that in every single last one of my clients that does goal coaching with me, I mean every single one of my clients that does goal coaching, that's like the very first thing that we that we realize that's going on is the lack of discipline. So we work on, um, on fixing that. Um, and then feeling overwhelmed can be a hindrance. Um, when you think of everything that has to be done to get to your destination, to reach your goal, sometimes a feeling of overwhelmingness, you know, that can, um, that can be a hindrance too. And it just makes you give up. Yes. Inconsistency is another thing that's well. inconsistency is the result. Um, but, um, uh, uh, feeling overwhelmed. I know so many times I have just like set stuff down and dropped it because I just felt so overwhelmed and I had to pick it up piece by piece by piece by piece in order to get the entire thing done. So, you know, um, if you don't have that discipline, then you're not going to pick it back up. So yes, uh, feeling overwhelmed is, it can be another, uh, hindrance of ours, um, for not completing or not seeing, um, goals through or things that we want for ourselves through the last thing is um you have to identify what actually is going to take what you have to identify what it is that's, that's going to take i'm sorry i wrote this down wrong um rushing identify exactly um uh, what it's going to take to get me where i need to be so um you have to identify exactly what it's going to take 
in order for you to get to where you need to be what you want to be is a, what resources are you going to need is a, are people can be a resource an accountability partner i know for me when i go exercise i have to take somebody with me because i need somebody to hold me accountable um i haven't got there yet to be just get up on my own and go i have to have somebody to go with me um just so <laughs> i can make it out there to run or do something but that is um that is uh that is one of the things that i need is an accountability partner um what else do you need um you resources may be something that you need to um get it done um like i said people resources such as money people can be a resource um support you get that from people i mean you just have to identify what your goal is do you need more affirmations in your life to you know what i'm saying to to keep you going um, do you need to create a budget for yourself? What exactly do you need to keep you on track and to keep you on target? Um, this helps you to prepare for um, for what's to come. Um, it helps you know what to expect and not necessarily expecting a situation because, you know, we can't always control our situation. But what to expect from yourself since you already identified your hindrances then um then you know what is going then you already know what to expect from yourself and so then you can prepare you can prepare for that um <clears throat> it holds you accountable um it doesn't feel so overwhelming when you break things down and you identify what exactly is going to take for you to get to where you want to be and achieve what you want to achieve um and then you know i just love a good plan I always love a good plan. How am I going to get to where I need to be? So it's just like, you know, you um, turn on Siri or, you know what I'm saying, you turn on, um, you know, your Google Maps or whatever. And it's like your roadmap to where you're going to go. We quick to pull up Siri and, um, you know, ask her Siri, send me here, send me there. So um, we have to do the same thing. We have to create our own roadmap to get to where we need to be. You know, Siri, she'll let you know now. And I heard there's another one out there too. When I was I was out the other day and somebody told me something about Waze. And Waze, I think I may be slow, but um, Waze, um, I guess like you can, they'll tell you when the police is around, like what area the police is in. They tell you about potholes. They tell you everything. Well, you know, you have to create a ways for yourself exactly what is where you're going to go, how you're going to get there and, um, you know, and plan for some of the pitfalls that may happen. So, um, you know, just to recap on getting your mind right for achieving the things that you want to achieve. Girl, get your mind right Monday. Number one, you have to um use affirmations with yourself you have to transform your mind everything begins in the mind so you have to transform your mind number two you have to be able to see the end number three identify what the things that have hindered you before and then number four identify what exactly is going to take to get you to your destination all right so if you would like more help with if you have found yourself stuck if you have found yourself, um, you feel like uh, you haven't done anything with your life. If you feel like, you know, you keep setting these goals, but you never, ever achieve them. If you feel like you need a, an accountability partner. If you feel like you need um, somebody to help you identify your hindrances. If you feel like you need somebody to help you cr to create a roadmap. If you feel like you need any of that, then... I have a class for it and it is called Gold Digger 101 and we go over all of this. First you um go you take the class, it's a 4 week class. It's totally self-paced. You receive four emails, one email a week from me. Then we do um, a, a, a chat where we all get on and we talk about our goals and different solutions and that we and different hindrances and stuff like that. And then um, and then we create a map, a road map for how we're going to get where we're going to go and how we're going to get there. OK, that's step one. And then if you like if you like that goal coaching, then um, then I also have individual uh, gold digger coaching as well, where I we will work on a one on one um, basis. But first you have to do the group or not the group. I'm sorry, the self paced um, one. And that is and that is uh, where you get the four weekly emails and it's a 30 day gold coaching program. OK, 
if you need help with any of this, anything that I talked about, if you if that sounds like you and you need some help, go to the website, IWillBeBeautiful.com, and you can sign up right there. Click on um go you can click on uh coaching self-paced coaching and it'll take you directly to sign up for goal coaching goal coaching any of the coaching classes start um any of the coaching classes start on monday they start every monday and every monday you will receive your email directly from me okay and then we'll get on our call our weekly call as well and you'll have assignments to do and things to like send back to me so i can check it and make sure that you're on the right path okay and then we'll have that conversation with each other all right so while you're at the website go visit the website even if you don't sign up for coaching go visit the website i will be beautiful dot Come and make sure you sign up for my VIP list every morning. The ladies who are signed up for the VIP list they get a a, a morning email with affirmations and um, inspiration filled on the inside. So make sure that you go and sign up for that as well. It's totally free. Um, you just sign up, put your name down, and um, thank you, Fee. Fee said they're beautiful emails. Thank you, Fee. You just sign up and go put your name down, and you'll receive um, a little inspirational email from me um, every morning with affirmations and inspiration, okay? Um, this week, I start cold calls. This week, I start cold calls, and I'm so excited about cold calls. It's my new project. Every Wednesday morning, um, Cold Calls will begin as a podcast. And let me tell y'all, I have met some amazing women, okay, who I feel are living by the code. And that is the beauty code. Be beautiful mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and personally. So, um, I am highlighting these women on Cold Calls. And you can catch that starting this Wednesday. Um, and you can go to the website. Again, everything's at the website. Iwillbebeautiful.com and click on podcast. And um, there you can connect to cold calls. Every Wednesday, a new one will be uploaded. And I'm so excited about that because I have um, I have met some amazing women. All right. And I'm going to highlight them um, because this black woman is not afraid to support another black woman. Y'all remember, y'all got that, that t-shirt is out there too. Anyway. Um, so this week I start cold calls and then I have some great things coming up. Um, I'm going to have a free visual, um, I'm sorry, a free affirmation, um, virtual party, affirmation board, virtual party. Me personally, y'all know I like, a, I like a wall instead of a board, but everybody may not be able to do a whole wall and that's cool. Get you a board and you know, we'll do it together, but I'm going to be working on my wall. Okay. But it's going to be a free virtual, um, affirmation board party where we're just going to be posting like affirmations for, um, you know, just to keep us in the right mind frame of, um, of you know where we need to be girl get your mind right okay so uh sign up for the email and stay tuned to hear the date for the affirmation um virtual party it's going to be all online so it's going to be a party too it's going to be so much fun so um stay tuned for the date but it will be at the end of august okay and then um if you are on instagram go follow me on instagram i am reverend kedra on instagram will i do it live yeah it's gonna be live maya um it's gonna be live it's gonna be um virtual we'll probably um do it through facebook and through periscope um but it will be live so you can get it from wherever you are and it's gonna be a party but i just want so many women to join us because it's gonna be so much fun um putting our affirmations together and then maybe you know we could share affirmations with each other and you know take some from the other ladies maybe something that you never thought of before you know so it'd be like oh that's good because i get that all the time somebody says something and i'd be like oh that's good so you know we share affirmations but it's gonna we make it a party get your girls together maya get your people get your folk get your friends Fee, you get your people, y'all, um, you know, get a little, make it a little girls night out or something like that over at your house, get some snacks and some beverages and you know what I'm saying? Get all the supplies and, um, you know, have a virtual party, but you need to eat. You need to sign up for the email though, so that you can receive, um, all of the, all of the supplies that you're going to need. Okay. I know you're down for a girls night. So yeah, so you, um, you, you need the email, you need to sign up for the email so you can get 
um, information on all the supplies that you're going to need for the um, virtual party. All right. And then the last but not least, if you are on um, Instagram, please go follow me. I am Reverend Kedra. I am R-E-V Kedra, K-E-E-D-R-A on Instagram. Um, I'm going to be starting a um, affirmation 30-day um, challenge, or not 30-day, but an affirmation challenge on Instagram. So, again, sign up for the email. Iwillbebeautiful.com is where you can find it and join the challenge. And the challenge, I have a very special prize for um, for the challenge winner, okay? And it will be a, a affirmation affirmation challenge on Instagram. It's only going to be on Instagram. I'm not putting it on Facebook or Periscope or any of my other social media pages. All right, it's only on Instagram. So make sure that you go follow me on Instagram. I am Reverend Kedra, R E V Kedra. All right, that's it. And I have so I've had a lot of I love sharing. Um, the knowledge that I've gained just from my own personal experiences. I love sharing it with, you know, with other women. So I'm glad that, you know, you on Periscope have joined me. I'm glad that you on Facebook, all of my Facebook friends. Thank you. I'm glad that y'all have joined me. If y'all want, let me tell you, I put inspiration and affirmations and all that out there any place you find me so you'll find it on facebook you find it on periscope you'll find it on um instagram just follow me if you need any type of inspiration you'll find it on my website you can get it in your email every day it's just i just try to carry it around me because i need peace in my life i need peace in my life so i gotta i gotta you know i gotta walk it myself okay so this has been Girl, get your mind right Monday. I'm going to start leaving everybody with an affirmation, okay? So tonight's affirmation is, it's simple. I am worth it. All right? I am worth it. Simple. I am worth it. Tell yourself that this week. I am worth it. Whenever you start to doubt yourself, I am worth it. Whenever things just don't seem like it's going, whenever you start to just think the negative thoughts, I am worth it. That is a nice affirmation. All right. That's right, Fee. I am worth it. Anything you want, you are worth it. You are worthy of it. Anything you want, anything you desire, you are worth it. You are worthy of it. Don't think otherwise. Good night. All right.